to bring up a serious ecology problem that concerns each and every one of us. Plastic pollution, that I'm pretty sure you already heard about. If you don't know much about today's ecology problems, watch this video till the end. But even if you live an eco-friendly life, I'm sure that you will find some new information. To get a better picture, you must understand where all the garbage goes after you throw it in a garbage bin. The landfill is the most popular destination for solid waste. In the US, around 52% of garbage ends up at landfills. In Ukraine, this number is around 90%. With each day, landfills expand. And here's the first problem. When rainwater comes through the waste, it absorbs the water-soluble compounds it contains, some of which are highly toxic. This dangerous combination can move into groundwater, poisoning ecosystems. A lot of plastic that is being transported to landfills is blown away because it's so lightweight. Besides, not all people throw away garbage in the garbage bins, and then wind and river carry it downstream into the ocean. One of the biggest today's problems is ocean pollution. The majority of trash in the ocean is plastic because unlike other trash, the single-use grocery bags, drinking straws, water bottles won't biodegrade. Plastic waste takes too long to decompose. Normally plastic items can take up to 1000 years to decompose in landfills. Just think about that. It will take centuries for an ordinary plastic bottle to decompose. A plastic bottle that you threw away right now will decompose in 400, 500, 600 years or even more. What shocks me the most? Every single plastic bottle that was ever produced still exists in some form. Each year, an estimated 18 billion pounds of plastic waste enters the world's ocean. And it absolutely doesn't matter where the trash was thrown away. It will end up in the ocean anyway. It will enter the river and then the sea and then eventually the ocean. Every minute, one garbage truck of plastic is being dumped into our ocean. By 250, there will be more plastic in the oceans than there will be fish. Garbage in the oceans create big garbage patches, such as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch covers an estimated surface area of 1.6 million square kilometers, an area three times bigger the size of France. What is more tragic, we kill animals and all sorts of life in the ocean. Sea animals mistake plastic with food and eat it. After that, they, of course, die. Often they get stuck in poly bags or any other plastic items. But it's not the end. Then we eat the fish that ate the plastic in small, small pieces, which is called microplastic. As an emerging field of study, not a lot is known about microplastics and their impacts yet. Microplastics can be found in every part of the ocean and even air. They can be as small as the width of a human hair. Microplastic is one of the biggest environment pollutants. Microplastics, small pieces up to 5 mm in size, are moving through the ocean food web and into the human diet. Microplastics both absorb and give off chemicals and harmful pollutants. The best solution in our situation, because this situation is everybody's responsibility, is to replace plastic. This solution will not only save our world, but also save your money. Of course, you can recycle plastic. But there are six common types of plastic and not all of them are recyclable. Plastic recycling is a different topic, so for now I want to concentrate on reducing the consumption of plastic and finding alternative materials. 90% of all plastics are plastic bottles. They can be replaced with a reusable water bottle. Plastic straws can be replaced with bamboo or iron straws. You can replace single-use coffee cups with Thermomax, or how people call them, echo cups. Plastic bags you can replace with shoppers. And for shopping, you can use echo bags or string bags instead of poly bags. Please like and comment this video if it was useful and informative, and subscribe not to miss my new videos. Thank you for watching, and till next time.